Welcome back, everybody. Time for the entertainment headlines. Making news this morning, Alessia Cara responding to haters who think she shouldn't have gotten the Grammy for Best New Artist. Good for her. Yeah, the 21-year-old Brandon native taking to Instagram, clarifying that she, uh, she did not ask to be nominated for the Grammy, but she won't feel bad winning one of the coveted prizes. Uh, went on to say that she has worked really hard to get where she is. It comes after music fans took to social media critiquing the win, many saying... Uh, that uh, SZA, SZA should have won. won. She won fair and square. They nominated her, and she deserved it done. Finished. Good for her. Yeah, it, it, it's not worth. It. There's other things to be talking about the Grammys Thank other you. than that. Congratulations, Alessia. And we talked about it earlier. Cab Tom Hanks yeah. is set to play America's favorite neighbor, Fred Rogers, also known to us as Mr. Rogers, in the upcoming biopic called "You Are My Friend." Uh, it's uh, based on Mr. Rogers' real-life relationship with a journalist for Esquire who ended up writing an iconic article on the friendly neighbor back in 1990. 98. So we're not looking for some big expose. In fact, <laughs> the uh, film's authors are telling us it's about kindness and about the human spirit. Don't so we looking need more forward to this. And I think yeah. Tom Hanks will be perfect in that role. I agree. Uh, Rogers died in 2003. Here's Devo Brown with more in Entertainment City. From lawyer to bachelorette to best-selling author, in today's entertainment city, Andy Dorfman opens up about single living in New York City. The 30-year-old just released her latest book, Single State of Mind. Dorfman's first book, It's Not Okay, spent over a month on the Canadian bestseller list, also hitting the New York Times list. Dorfman sat down with Terry Hart to chat about her newest release. Congratulations on this. Thanks. Book number two, New York Times bestseller. Um, is single a state of mind? I think so. I think it's a state of mind, a state of being. Being in relationships and now being single, I've kind of learned the difference between like what I want in a man and what I probably need in a man, um, which I think is key. One of the things that I think is really refreshing in the book is how, even through all of your experiences, how wide-eyed and innocent in some <laughs> ways you are about this stage of your life. Do you, like, have other people said that to you? And Yeah, I mean, I think it's... I think people expect me to be maybe a little smarter than I am in a sense. I think people automatically expected me to know exactly like what reality TV was and you're never going to know it all. Like I knew the facet of law but I did not know reality TV um, and I kind of enjoyed going through it with this naivety and I kind of enjoy continuing on still with that. How much have you changed from you know, The Bachelor, through The Bachelorette, through two books. Like, are you the same person? Yeah, for sure. Sometimes I wish I changed a little more. Um, do you still want it? Do you still want the ring and the dress and the wedding and the forever? I want the, I want the forever. I don't know if, I think I've learned that the ring and the wedding and the dress don't equal forever. Single State of Mind is on shelves now. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.